Hello friends. So in this video, we are going to learn about HubSite. And if you are a SharePoint developer who works on Office 365, definitely you would have heard this concept. And if you have not heard, don't worry, we'll go through it in detail. But if you know about HubSite and you feel that you already know about this basic concept, then you can skip to the demo. There are many advanced things that I will be also going through in the demo in the later part of the video. So stick with me and continue watching this video. Welcome back to Help Me Coder, the channel which talks about technology and helps the coder community out there. And here we are going to discuss about HubSite, the new way to structure your content. So when we talk about structuring your content, we are accustomed to the concept of subsites and the site collection. We have been using this for ages now. And for on-premises, still HubSite is not been rolled out. Maybe it will roll out in future, who knows. But for Office 365, HubSite is a game changer and it has lots and tons of advantages on why you want to use the HubSite. We'll go on those advantages just a moment later. But before that, what is HubSite? HubSite is a site that helps you to aggregate content from various associated team site and communication site. What it means is that if you have various different sites, then you can connect them to a hub site. Basically what it helps in is that anything that you update the content on these associated sites will get rolled up onto this hub site. These associated sub sites that you have, they can be working on their own silos. There are these site collections and uh, once you update any content that uh, like for example news feeds it gets rolled up once you update any documents uh, or anything over there you can search those documents from those hub sites so one advantage is this roll up of your content and news feeds the other advantage is the shared navigation and branding there is uh, another navigation on top of your site level navigation so this is a hub navigation so this hub navigation will be across all the associated uh, team sites or communication sites that are connected to your hub site consistent look and feel also the look and feel will be consistent so whatever look and feel your hub site has that will be rolled out and will be shared across all of your uh, other connected team sites or the communication side so we'll look into the demo don't worry about that if you still have many doubts we'll go through all of those doubts later so i have opened my sharepoint admin center over here and i have created two sites one is called top five another is a switzerland so top five site is all about the cost of living so it uh, captures or gets information for the top five nations which are the which are most costly to live in and uh, because every time these top five nations can change, so uh, hub site will best suit for this purpose because the other sites, like all the nation sites that are there, so maybe there is a site for Switzerland, there is a site for any other country, they can be on the top five listing for this year and tomorrow they may not be on that top five listing. So let me show you the Switzerland site as well first. So. Switzerland site is all about Switzerland. What is why Switzerland is expensive and what other things you can add over here. So this is all about that. Then top five sites is just about the cost of living, but it aggregates content from all these sub sites that we have. Uh, from where it can pull the content of those top five nations. Perfect. Now to do that, to how do you make a site as a hub site? We go to a particular site over here. And over here, we mark it as we there is a hub tab. You just mark it as register as a hub site. So once you register where you as a hub site, you need to provide the display name. So I will say, for example, I will say top five over here. And you can specify as an administrator. I am right now. I am a administrator of this uh, SharePoint admin panel on my Office 365. I can as to say which all people can connect to this hub site so for example I, I will just for now for the sake of uh, this demo I will just say if you can connect to myself like only me can connect to this thing and associate a hub site so let me save this and then 
that's it so this is now become a hub site but a hub site alone doesn't serves any purpose until unless there are other sites that are connected to this hub site now once this site has become a hub site you can connect other sites to this hub sites two ways one is i can click over here on this uh, site which is a communication site and i can go to this hub tab over here and click on associate with the hub so once i do that i can choose the hub site to which i want to associate it this is one way or if you open if as a site owner anybody as a site owner can open this switzerland site what he can do is from over here i can come to this tab and then he can click on site information from the site information he can choose the hub site association over here so uh, if i choose the hub site association and then i click on save what it it will do, does is it will associate this site to the hub site which is a top 5 how do you know if you refresh this active uh, this admin panel you will see that it is now connected to the top 5 which is a hub site also if you see the menu the navigation which i talked earlier there is a new navigation that you see on the top which is the hub navigation now there is a navigation which is uh, specific to the site which is like this navigation that you see over here and then this is a new navigation that you see which is called the hub navigation if i click on this top 5 i will be taking it i will be taken to the top 5 uh, hub site directly from there now once you are in a hub site you can provide some links you can add new links so for example i want to have a link of the switzerland site over here so what i will do is um, i will click on the add link so when i click on the add link i need to have a url i need to choose an option where i will choose url address i will take this uh, sozeran site address and i will put it over here once i have written the address you can just type sozeran provide the text to display and then i will save this once i save this i see this sozeran link on this hub navigation and if you go back to those individual sites that are connected to this hub you will see that you will if you refresh over here you will see that switzerland link also appearing on this hub navigation now how else you can beautify this navigation if i go on if you should be on the hub na hub site and once you are on a hub site you can go to settings and you can go to hub site settings this option appears once you make a site a hub site and once you click over there you can upload a new image this this is a logo image for the navigation so if i click over here as top 5 the same thing and i save it you will see that this will start appearing over here it's repeated over here on the hub site but if you go to switzerland so the switzerland site has its own uh, image but if you refresh over here there will be a hub image as well which is this you can click on that image to go to the hub site as well secondly we talked about roll up of your content so when we talk about roll up of your content means like for example switzerland is one site and if there is a new news item over here so there is a news web part so if you create a new news article that will get automatically rolled up to this hub site so hub site has its own news so for example hub site has a news this is a news for the hub site but now uh, switzerland if you create a new news like let's create a new news and we name this news as uh, i mean you can write anything i'm just trying to prove uh, uh, show you how this is done let me add a image over here um i will just upload a image let me choose any image let me choose this image and i will add this image and then let me post this news so this is post so on the switzerland page you will see this uh, there is a new news added called why swiss is costly and now if you go to the hub site which is top 5 and if i refresh over here you will see that it will start coming up over here it takes some time the reason being that uh, the search crawls this website and once the search crawls it up uh, it will be picked up from that point 
by the hub side but i guess there can be some uh, it's not a real time there can be some gap some duration between this uh, thing when it happens but it's pretty fast it's not that late so let me see this uh, now this has come over here which is this one why swiss is costly has come over here so this is coming from uh, the switzerland website the other side and if you click over here it will take you to that article now this takes some time but eventually it comes other thing to see over here if i edit this page and if i go to this web part this news feed web part and i see the options that you have so if you see over here the news source can be from this site and but by default when you add this web part on the hub side it is from all sites in the hub so it's by default option that is chosen but you can still uh, choose whatever option you want so this is about how the news feed gets rolled up to the hub site from all the different associated sites that you have also if you can see there is a search this is search across the site so it will search across the files that are there in the switzerland site it will search the news on the switzerland site so there are many things that it will search across so right now it is picking up this file called costly things which is there on the switzerland site so i'm right now in my hub site if i say costly things it will be searchable so this is the file now uh, there can be some doubts that uh, what about the permissions that you have on the associated site so if there are is an if there is an associated site that has a file which has its permissions which is to not expose the content to any other people or people to a certain group then that permission will override this whole hub thing where it rolls up the content so it will not get rolled up it will not get shown on the search so all your individual permissions take a precedence that's one thing now the other thing that i want to show you is that how the ui or the look and feel takes an impact so now if you have this uh, hub site and if i change the look and feel of uh, this site then the look and feel of this switzerland site will get changed by itself now let me show you something if i go to quickly and change the look and feel over here i change the theme from this color to something reddish and change save uh, change let me refresh so see this all the red things are coming up over here and if i go to switzerland site will it change it's still yellow so again the same thing it takes some time to get that rolled out to other side see now it has become red this is this was even faster so it is red now so the look and feel the designs take change to all the associated sites pretty good feature so designs look and feel search news feeds all these are rolled down to the associated site then this navigation is amazing plus the advantage that you get that you can take out a site from this so tomorrow if this doesn't falls switzerland site doesn't fall under the top five i can quickly go here click on this link change hub association and i can take it down from this to none so no more this news feeds from switzerland will come under top five so that's how easy it is to change the structure of the site so some of the pointers here on the hub site first thing uh, you need to be a sharepoint administrator to create a hub site you need to have access to that sharepoint admin center where you can go and mark a site as a sharepoint hub site you can do using powershell as well we have not covered those commands the powershell commands over here but you can do that as well then secondly uh, recommended is to use the modern template like communication site and team site uh, classic templates many of the things that you see like your uh, navigation will not appear on those classic templates so not recommended to use classic template for the hub site 
then you can only associate site collections to the hub site you cannot associate sub sites to the hub site then a hub site can have multiple associations to a multiple site collections but a single site cannot be associated to multiple hub sites correct so that point to be noted one thing that i found out also is that don't unregister a hub site so you don't unregister a hub site without removing the associations first advisable first remove the associations then unregister a hub site i hope you would have found this video useful and you would have learned something today and if i have missed some information today on the hub site then do feel free to provide your comment in the comment section it will help other people as well and definitely me as well so i would love to hear from you on hub site plus do remember to hit the like button and the subscribe our channel so that you keep cutting awesome content from us at help me coder thanks for watching and until next time happy coding